What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most important features of Dream Team, player form and player arrows in game. Now this is hugely important because this controls how your players are actually going to produce on the pitch. So we're going to cover it, let's get right into it. So from the main menu I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the player forms that are controlled by the live update. I'm going to show you my squad. So you can see here we go over to live update rating. So this is a live update rating that Konami do every couple of weeks or every week where they update the players depending on how they're playing in real life. So you can see here Munayin and Corona have A form. Nuna Mendes, my left back, has D form. Vieira, Piaul, Romario, Nakata, they have B form. They're legends. They're always stuck at B. But if you go into Nuna Mendes here and we're going to take a, a closer look there's two aspects to this in deciding which, you know, how a player is going to perform on the pitch field. And it has an impact on stats, it has an impact on everything. So you can see here that Nuno Mendes is live update D, right, with the little arrow there. This means that Konami have decided, okay, Nuno Mendes isn't playing well in real life. His live update is going to be brought in from real life data, okay, how he's playing in real life. And it's going to be updated in the game to a D, right? So he might have be having a, a couple of poor games, misplaced passes, you know, maybe he hasn't started a few games in a row or whatever like that. So that's going to be his live update for the week. So it's going to be a D, right? Now to counteract this, certain players have different um, forms in their characteristics. So if you scroll down here, you can see his form is unwavering, right? Anyone that has played PES 2021 or PES 2020 um, will know that this form used to be like rated on a 1 to 3 level, right? So it's just changed the, the name and of it, how they've described it. So it goes from inconsistent, standard, or unwavering, right? They're the three types. We'll get into them in a second. Nuno Mendes has got unwavering uh, form, right? Which means that that will balance out his live updates, which we'll see in a second, right? When we go into our real life. Uh, match situation here with Nuna Mendes and this squad and we'll see you know what form carries over from the live update into the actual player arrows so speaking of the player arrows right when we go back into our squad here you can see Munayin and Corona Van Dyke they're all in the A's and the B's right so my squad is fairly set you can see Corona's got live update A and he's got form unwavering right so the chances of Corona being on on a like a, a, a top form arrow is very, very high, right? It's very, very high. For Munayin or for any of those guys, for Reese James, Reese James has got standard form. So he's on C live update this week and he's got standard form, which means that more often than not, he is going to be either a normal form arrow or he's going to be a down form arrow, right? He's going to be either a red or orange or a yellow form arrow. So we're going to see. Now, there's a couple of ways to look at this before you sign new players. I know a lot of people, and I even made the mistake at the start as well, where I wasn't, wasn't really focusing on the long-term project of, you know, how the players are going to react. So if you go into Messi here, his live update rating at the moment is an A. He's also got unwavering form. So this doubles up that if you buy Messi and you're playing with Messi, probably I would say nine times out of 10, you're going to have either an upper, you know, a, a green arrow, or you're going to have an upper arrow that is going to make his, his performances be better. It's going to give a stat increase. He's going to be able to, you know, be better on the pitch. He's going to link in better with your team. And naturally, the more players that you have that have got unwavering form, and high rating for the live update. Now, it's hard to predict it. Obviously, sometimes it can be very random, but the better your team is going to be, like, you know, more boosted up, basically. That's the best way of putting it. So you can see here, Dybala, you can see he's taking a little rest, having a little snooze, and that's why his form is inconsistent. So if you've got Messi and Dybala both in your squad, they've both got A rating, there is still a chance that Dybala could be, you know, a, a lesser... Uh, form arrow or have a worse form arrow than Messi. Now the live rating does make more of a difference than the actual form but when the live update does be upgraded or however we're going to do it when the seasons end that is when the form is going to come into it. So if we take a quick look here right and I'm going to give a quick comparison. This is my team before we go into a match situation. This is the team in a match situation right. So you can see as I've said to you you can see right that and we'll get a better screen here now in a second. On the left side of the screen, you can see that the player form, Munayin, Corona are both A's, right? You look at their in-game, when I started a match and I'm looking at my in-game form arrows, you can see that that, tra that has translated over to Munayin and Corona's form being fully up. Nuna Mendes is a D, that has translated over to him having a form arrow that's normal. You can see that Vieira is a B, 
he's he's been lucky enough to get the full form arrow. Romario is a B, but he gets a normal form arrow. So there is a randomness to it, but obviously the better that your form is, and if you've got the live update, you're going to have more players up in the the good arrows, like Monain and Corona there, obviously. So you do want to fill your team with A players, and you do want to fill your team with players that have you know, unwavering form, right? You can see there, there is obviously discrepancies in it because if you take a look at Van Dijk and Piao, they're both Bs and they've both got the same form arrow, right? But then you've got, um, you've got Romario, who's a B, who's up front and he's a B, but he gets a normal form arrow. So there is a slight variation to it. Similarly with Reese James and Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes is a D, He's got unwavering form, which we looked at a couple of seconds ago. And Reese James has got standard form. So they counteract and balance each other out. And they both land on normal form arrows, right? Now, I think it's a little bit more forgiven than my club last year or a couple of years back. You don't see that many red arrows. And we'll get into the difference between what a player on fully up and fully down means. But we will get into that. But I think it's a little bit more forgiven. So when we go into our squad here, and you can see again that we're going to be taking a quick look. Munayin, Corona, right? Munayin has got condition up because his form arrow is fully up, right? He's got his player ID or his player update fully up. And that translates over to his actual in-game uh, stats, right? So you can see here the boost that he's getting to his stats, just to give you an example. So he gets plus seven on his offensive awareness. We take a look at, let's say, Pat, Paddy V, right? Patrick Vieira, low pass is boosted up. Literally everything is boosted up. The stats that are boosted up the most, that get the most upgrade, are the stats that he's highest in. So you can see his physical contact, his stamina, and his defensive engagement all go up by plus two or plus three. Now for Reese James, he's a normal form arrow, so his stats remain unchanged. He's just going to stay as is. Van Dijk is obviously the second best arrow. His stats are going to get a slight upgrade as well, a slight uptick to all his stats he's got defensive engagement plus three up to 83 but he doesn't have the same upgrade as Vieira you would think right or you would you would say you don't have to think you would know because you're looking here now if we go back out of this and we take a look at somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo right on down form so you can see his player form is in the red arrow he gets a huge stat decrease on the left hand of the screen on the right hand of the screen you've got Cristiano Ronaldo who's got his player form in the green arrow or the blue arrow whichever way you want to do it Whatever way you want to look at that condition arrow color, lads, it's up to you. The max stat increase is for that. So you can see there's a huge discrepancy there. Look at the speed. His speed on red arrow is 66. His speed on green arrow is 79. That is literally game changing. So if you've got a team packed with fully up players, you're going to have a massive boost to your attributes, your stats, and a massive advantage. Now, if you head over to eFootballDB.com, and you want to really easily check, I think this is a really cool feature of eFootballDB.com, if you want to really easily check what players you should be signing, if you go into the search filters, click players, click search filters, go down to form and click that tree and the other one out of tree as well. These will be all the players that you can see that have the best form, unwavering form, right? So for example, if we go into any of these players, it doesn't matter if they've got like a high rating, a low rating, some players that are 60 overall, as we're seeing here, have unwavering form, which means that you can get some really good bargain busters. So check out my videos where I have the best players for all positions, for all budgets. There's some really, you know, this is taken into consideration with choosing them. So if we look at Vinny here, Vinny Jr., he's going to have his, his form, which is rated as a level three, right? So unwavering is level three. One is inconsistent and uh, two is standard, right? So if we go back down here and we just search for inconsistent players, right? We're going to take a look at any of these guys. So you've got Werner here, right, from Chelsea. His form is one. So that means that even when he has his live update A or B, if he's playing really well in real life, there is the odd chance that for a couple of games, he will be down. His form arrow will be down. So you're going to want to pack your team full of players if you can. If it's a choice between choosing one player over the other, I would definitely recommend getting players with unwavering form to give yourself the best advantage. So that's just a really cool way there on eFootballDB to sort out the players that just have the best form. And then you can obviously fit your team around them if it's a choice between one player or the other, such as if you're thinking of buying Dybala instead of Muller or something like that. So yeah, let's, that is it for me. Short and sweet hopefully covers everything. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, peace.